This fish got a lot of weight, really does. I'm hoping it's the right variety of species here. Double header. Double header. You may want to grab the next one. All right, hang on. Look at the purple bait. Look at this. Whoa, big one on top. Too, All right, boys. Lou, Woo. I'm going to do the double net. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big blue on the bottom. You're watching Northeast Angling. We're proud to present inshore and offshore saltwater fishing. We cover every species from fluke and porgies to stripers, sharks, and tuna. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations at neangling.com. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, Rich, we finally got to take a trip with Lou Grazioso. We've been trying to do something with him for I don't know how many years now. It's always weather or fish or our boats are in the wrong place. He runs Striper Mania Charters right out of Jersey. And we're basically in your home waters here, Lou. What do we got going on over here? Well, today we're going to give a shot for deep water weak fish. We're going to live bait some peanut bunker. Uh, basically, we're just drifting, you know, right in this deep water channel right here. Weak fish, maybe three to five pounds have been the average. It's a little late for them, but it's a good, you know, good shot for us to get, you know, some late season weak fish. Yeah, actually, with the season we've been having, it's been perfect also. You know, there's warm water to warm weather. I yeah. mean, it's hard to believe what time of season you're looking at and how actually, hey, I'm sitting oh, here it's, it's a long sleeve shirt. Today and... they're calling for record highs, so we're going to take advantage of it. It's a beautiful day, and uh, it looks like there's a lot of boats here right now. We see people catching fish, so we're going to try to catch some yeah. fish. And this, this is a place we're very much familiar with. This is the Verrazano Bridge. Uh, we've spent a lot of time here. We won a tournament here one time. We come back here very often. We never quite managed to do the weak fish thing here. You know, we've heard about it and we've missed it many a time. Yeah, we the tried, that's for sure. The day after. Well, there's been a fabulous bite here, so I'm hopeful that we're going to enjoy some good fish. Right, well, where do you want to move us to here, Luke? Uh, I guess we'll just move up. We'll try to locate the school of fish and then we'll, we'll set up a drift line. You know, and we'll uh, drop down some bait and see how we do. Sounds good. Cool. All right, guys. Let's catch some fish. Lou, what time of year did this start up? Well, this week fishing, it can start right around the full moon of September and then run until basically they leave, which will probably be just about the first of November. So, you know, we have a little spring run of large fish, and then we have a, uh, a fall run of, you know, medium-sized fish. Oh, oh, there you got one. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, oh, oh. I just got hit, too. Uh, uh, I, I, I missed horribly. <laughs> the, the fishing that we've been doing, Oh, nice weak fish. The, the, the fish wow, that's decent. Catching, you know, it's roughly about the average of this fish right here, two to three pounds. You know, we've gotten them up to nine pounds, and uh, it's uh, definitely a, a, a good fishery right now. Now, Lou, has there been a lot of uh, bluefish mixed in? There have been a lot of bluefish mixed in, but you know, they're fun to catch too. You can't beat it. The only reason I'm asking is because that last fish shot. Uh, I'll cut you right off. <laughs> Kind of, kind of took my hook on me there, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, there's definitely some bluefish down there. Big ones and small ones, too. You know, whenever you get uh, weak fish and, and bass together, you get those bluefish mixed in. Right. They love to chop everything. Now, what other methods are you using for these fish? I know you, we're fishing oh, with live peanut bunker right now. We've been doing really well with artificial also, you know, just about any type of uh, artificial bait. The plastic swim shads are working really good. Those, uh, you know, the plastic squids that they make now are really working well. Yeah, I know we got some Berkeley products with us. We're going to drop down a little bit later. See if we can get some on artificials, but you said equally that pretty much when they're fishing on. Oh yeah, on, right? if, if you're into a batch of these fish, especially in the fall with the with the smaller bait, they feed. And he's chumming. I'm sorry. Guys. They feed a lot heavier, <laughs> and you know you could actually when 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 the feed bag's on, you could catch them on almost everything. I got you. Well, we're ready ready to go up, and make another drift. Yeah, let's make another drift. We got that one fish. See if we can get another one. All right, let's do it. Alright, we go, guys. We got 
tell you what, on light tackles, really good. How you, you, you and I enter yep. each other? Yeah, we just go around it. Yep. Yep. That's a lot with Andy. He has to get you away a little bit. Um, that's all right. In the corner of the boat. He's trying to catch up you know, to me, that's all. I know all. there's no reason to hire to say, ah, oh, Andy, you might need the nap. Ah, oh, no, what am I worried about? Do the help, yeah. you know, how many fish did I have that you should have started the boat and chase that you ignored me on? What do you got? What do you got? All right. It's a good week. Nice, colorful What's the trout. These? What's the size? Uh, 16 inches, six fish. 16 inches and six fish. Now, is New York the same? New York, New Jersey That's the same? New York limit because we are fishing in New York, New Jersey. Is eight fish at 13 inches, yeah, but New right Jersey now, gets everything, you know, yeah, well, they're, they're, I think they're allowed what like 40 fluke and eight inches or something like that, yes, exactly. But no, New Jersey's limit dropped down to uh six fish at 13 inches. But seeing we're in New York waters, we have to follow their regulations, which is six fish at 16 inches. I got you. Well, that's not going to be one of my six fish. I'm, I'm rooting for something a little bit on the bigger side, <laughs> so, even though that was more, a lot more than a keeper. Absolutely. I don't think somewhere down there there's the right weak fish with my name on it. Oh, oh yeah, no. I just always don't have Rich's name on it. Yeah, yeah, well. There's fish in here. Good good fishery. I'm going with, with loose technique of putting two peanuts on one hook and looking for something bigger, I guess. That's it. I just got pummeled. Did it get any? Yeah, this, this fish down here. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep you gotta be a little patient every keep, now. Keep this drift going for a minute, you know. I mean, we're still marking some fish, right? Yes, absolutely. I just got these fish, you know, like they're like bass, too. They're curious. You hook one, you know. A lot of times, I think the other ones will get active around it also. When you take look. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And when they're schooling like this, you know, where there's one, there's always another. I got you. There's a good spread of fish. Oh, there you go. Oh, what do you just know, like that. Huh? Just like that. See that? Ah, no, he's still there. He swam at me. <laughs> That's a blue fish. This, 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 this a blue fish. I think yeah. I'm getting uh, a, a different variety of species right here. <laughs> I must be honest with you. I mean, I haven't had a weak fish yet, but I know what this feels like. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. The weak fish is the hell of me. I'd like to be wrong. Yeah. There's just an awful lot of head shake on this fish. Let's take one. See that, see that gold yellow color we know well, so we got. So far, I got a chance of getting my hook back if it's a bluefish anyway. Yeah, right. The last two just uh, took me to the cleanest. I'll call her in a second. Got it. A lot of vis vis in this water, eh, Lou? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can see that bluefish from a mile away. <laughs> Northeast premier game fish. Let me tell you something. People don't realize it, but these fish were the backbone of this industry for God knows how many years. Oh, yeah, no, and absolutely. We have the auditorium on a striped bass. Oh! Oh! Hey, hook. Gotta get your hook. There goes my hook again. Well, the thing is that they provide excellent action oh, and they're yeah. available almost all season. It's That's one thing fight, good about you know? Yes. I mean, it's a great, especially with kids or anything like that, it's a great way to get them started, you know? Pound for pound, one of the best fish out here. Right, we're coming off the channel edge there, Rich? Yeah, we're Oh, uh, yeah, we got a little deep there. I think we should slide up again, uh, make one again, look. Yeah, I would definitely. We'll well, get on another. Else do it because I have a rig to All right, again. I'll run a Visit show. the Northeast Angling website at neangling.com for nationwide saltwater charter directory, fishing news, and free fishing reports. You can also find dozens of techniques, tips, and tackle for every saltwater species. Now let's get back to the action. Decent-looking marks on the machine. Wow, uh, that may not have been the prettiest hook set. But it's a hook set just the same. Got a fish on, that's all that matters, man. That sound, looks like a nice one, too. Yeah, that's that's yeah, I think he got me actually tied into you, too. Right? Ah. No. You think? Yep. Yeah, I might have Rich's rig as well. I got a pretty decent fish. Any chance to get these off, Rich, or not? Well, why don't we... Oh, no. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hey, <laughs> That worked out well. That's a beauty. That's a good fish. Keep oh, your head underwater, nice Here we go. Nice mess. How often does that happen? <laughs> that's a break. I like that. I'll tell you what. That's not a bad start. Wow, that's cool. What are we doing? Five bucks on the first fish? Uh, no, that's on the biggest and the most. <laughs> so you'll be out of the equation. Funny, it's usually on the first fish. I don't know what happens to that. <laughs> well, Lou, I know how many of these am I allowed to have? Uh, Six? I that might have a fish that we have to throw back no matter what here. Well, I'm sending mine back anyway. That's a huge fish, Andy. There we go, Andy. I'm in. Well, we made a we made a big change here. What we did was we put those peanut bunker away because we just weren't catching on them, and we switched to a gulpy go uh, a, 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 <laughs> a Berkeley gulp. I'm Berkeley so excited because the bite's good. 
a Berkeley Gulf saltwater shrimp, like a four-inch shrimp, and these fish aren't just can't resist this. Oh, and that looks like a solid fish. This fish got a lot of weight, really does. I'm hoping it's the right variety of species here. Double header. Oh, double header. You may man. want to grab the net. All right, hang on. Look at Berkeley baits. Look at this. Whoa, big one on top, too, All right, boys. Lou, Woo. I'm gonna do the double wow, net. Wow, whoa, big, whoa, whoa. Big blue on the bottom. Blue big weak fish combo. Big oh. blue on the bottom and a weak fish on the top. Let's take that weak fish. I'm gonna get the weak fish. Actually, take them both. You ready? I'm gonna drop oh. them both in. Okay. Just swing that net low. Cause I don't want to lose this. I cannot extend it. any more than I am. How's that? How's that? How's that? <laughs> How's that for you? A Berkeley double, man. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> All right. Now, you know one thing is just we just had to change it up. We, yeah. We caught early on the peanuts, and then just uh, the peanut bite just, just stifled. We were still marking fish. Yep. We just couldn't catch anything. Yeah, that drift just, I mean, that, that bite just totally, totally turned over. One weak fish? We can let that one go, and I'll manhandle the bluefish out of there in a minute. Let's just pass this net to Rick. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. They want your shrimp, though. They want it so bad. I'll get that back. Go. We got we got a whole whole uh, tub full of that. Just hit the acknowledge on that, Lou. There you oh, go. A GPS flipping out again? No, just uh, <laughs> we, ran, we ran out of track points. We've been tracking so long, covering so much bottom here. Guys, we slipped off the piece just by a few feet. So it's just, just scoot right back. We'll run right back on top of it. The terminal tackle that we used under the Verrazano Bridge for the weak fish today was a seven foot Terramar rod accompanied with a 4,000 Stratic. This is the new reel that Shimano just came out with. We used 14 pound test Berkeley Fireline, a Mustad tri swivel attached to 15 pound test disappearing pink Yozuri fluorocarbon. We used a bucktail on the bottom. We tipped the bucktail with a four inch Berkeley gulp alive and we used a trailer hook which we used a live peanut on and we also trailed a four inch Berkeley gulp alive shrimp in different colors also. This really made a difference today in what we brought in. Ah, oh, I'm in. Ah, that's not right. <laughs> what happened? What happened? All right, Lou, where's your line? Okay. Come on, Rich, man. Hey, I've been quiet all day. You're fine. I had to concoct a different rig. Oh, Whoa! Nice fish. You want a net on that, Rich? Um, yeah, he's right in the lip. Okay. He's going to fall off any second. second. Any second, this fish is going to fall off. Oh, that would have been fair. You can take one on Andy's rod, too. No? Don't worry, though. Oh, nice fish, Rich. There we go. He's well, going to come off real quick. There he is. I knew he was going to Okay, that's yours? Off. Okay. All good? You tell me why I can take this net out of here, Rich, because I'm, I'm not stopping. I'll be out in one second. Fish is free. I just got to get my bucktail out here. Hit on the bucktail with the, with the shrimp? Or no, no, he the hit shrimp? the teaser. But what hit I did was shrimp. I took a bucktail, I tipped it with a, with a gulp shrimp, and I put a shrimp teaser up ahead of it. And what did he hit the teaser? He hit the teaser. You know, Rich is fishing a bucktail. You and I are just fishing a shrimp, and I don't think it matters at all. Yeah. No, we're, we're all getting hits. Yeah. But I mean, I was having a tough morning to this also. And then I just switched over to the bucktail. Seems to be working a little bit better. What a beautiful fish. I hope he's croaking on me. He's, there we go, Andy. All right, I, I can't watch you guys. I'm going to let this go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got to get back in the water. But now, you know, Lou, what you're basically doing, you know, and, and explain this. You, you, we're looking for these fish now. You see them. You're stopping on them. We're marking them. And right now, we're basically running and gunning. We're spotting the fish on the machine. We're banging it right in the first, we're talking straight down over top of them, we're jigging up and down, bam. Yeah, yep. Right and it, it seems as soon as we switched over to that Berkeley, you know, power bait, every drop is a fish. No, I hate to say this, because Andy, we got a, we all got a mutual good friend in Brian Perry. And who, who we could have taken today. He could have, yeah, but he, he, was, he was entertaining somebody, I guess, I don't know, who knows. Somebody flew in for him. But, you know, you know, he says it all the time. You gotta try it. Outfish is bait. Outfish is bait. I always tell him, you know what, you're full of whatever. You know? I'm gonna say right now. It's making a believer out of me. <laughs> absolutely. As soon as I put it on, I started catching yep. it. Yep. We put on the live bait, but as soon as we put on those shrimps, it was just it, it instant bait. Yeah, I just had to touch Andy. I only said, yep, sure did. We're sliding off, though. We? we are starting to really drift quick now. Oh, we're gonna have these fish right now, guys. Oh, no, right on top. Mark it, mark it. There they go. Here they come. Visit the Northeast Angling YouTube channel for hundreds of videos, including full-length episodes, exciting clips, product reviews, and instructional videos. And now, the exciting conclusion of Northeast Angling. I'm in, guys. Yep. Did 
I, it's amazing. Marking, marking good. It's, it's amazing what a difference we made when we switched over to, that, to, the, to the shrimp. That's amazing. It really, I never would have believed it. I really, to be honest with you, I never would have believed it. I've been using it a little bit more and cause, just because I've been doing a little more bottom fishing. I've put a lot of fish on it. You know, I, I'm becoming more and more a believer the more I fish yeah. with it. No, I, I mean, I, I know they work, you know, when you're jigging with the sea bass and whatnot. But I, I mean, you know, to, to actually, for the first time in my life, see a bait outfish a live peanut. Yeah, to no, me, it's amazing. I mean, we were doing real well on those peanuts. All of a sudden, switching over to the Berkeley. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a nice oh, fish. It's a wiki. Net nice. or not? No, I'll, I'll try to lift him. Okay. Good job. You say lift? You say lift or lift him? I, I, I have lift weak oh. fish before. You in? I'm in. There we go. Right. I have uh, lift weak fish before. And? One time when I didn't have a net. <laughs> <laughs> and it was probably the, one of the worst experiences of my life. What a it looks fish. like you got a little weight on that one. Listen to this guy croaking. Oh, uh, he's got a nice fish here. Are we going to keep these for dinner, or what double. are we doing now? We're going to hold on to these uh, fish? That's a nice fish. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, we're going to keep a couple for dinner. All right, I'm going to put this one in the wall. That's certainly line. the right size. All right, I can do but, that. But uh, I'm not cleaning them. I'll clean them. Now, Lou, this, 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 this kind of bite, you know, I, I know we've been going back and forth here, <laughs> going back and forth here on the bridge, what's the key? Just try and find a depth and work a depth, or? Yeah, basically, you know, we're right here on the edge of the channel. You know, I mean, obviously there's a lot of boats here. That's the first sign that you'll look for. You see a lot of boats gathered up, you know, there's something going on. But bottom line is to use your electronics, you know, locate the fish. Oh, Andy. Oh, nice. And then, you know, set up a drift line, you know, mark your GPS, whatever it takes. But, you know, once you find the fish, obviously they could move a bit, but, you know, you want to get on a good drift line, you know. Uh, you that's a decent fish. Nice. Yeah, you want to yeah. have the right tackle and stuff. You know, we're using a three-way swivel in. with some weight right now, <laughs> and we're just bouncing the bottom. We switched over to these shrimps. Oh, nice. Oh, man, look at this. That nice. one's coming. Oh, that's a good oh, fish. Nice fish. I could use a net on this one, Lou. What did I hook? That's a nice fish. Nice there you fish. go. Good job, man. Wow. I know it's not the pool winner today, but I'll take it. Yeah. Nice. Nice trout. Here we go. Let me let, let you take a hold of them. Get this hook out. He looks good there. Oh. This little guy, he is headed for the well. He's all for the well. Yeah, Had absolutely. A fish. I'm, we're gonna be eating this tonight. Oh man. Now I won't catch you tomorrow. <laughs> well, we're good gonna be packing them in soon anyway, guys. Right. You know what, uh, Lou? Could you slip me another shrimp? Yeah. I think they slid back into the transom there. You know. Lou, what? access around here. I mean, I know there's a lot of party boats that fish for these guys. Uh, obviously, you charter for them regularly. Yes. You know, and is this boat ramp successful? You guys want to travel or travel night? Oh, yeah, no, in? we have boat ramp over in Staten Island, over here in Great and Hills Harbor. I got you. Uh, Liberty, you know, right up over here, you got the uh, Liberty State Park you could launch. I mean, obviously, right now we're at the Barrazano, but these weak fish could just be about anywhere. Right. And the thing is, is just having all the right tackle, you know, locating the fish and, mm -hmm. you know, putting your time in catching them. Obviously, uh, you know, we've used numerous baits today. They're hitting, you know, uh, various baits. Right, so now, generally, though, this time of season, what month is this the best October, month? October, from, from the beginning of September, right on till about November. The water chills a little bit below 65, 60 degrees. These fish are going to start moving out. You know, the biggest thing is we have a lot of bait in the area this year. So, you know, I think they're going to stick around a little longer. But And the know, water temp, right? Yeah, exactly. We, we, you know, we've had a mild uh, fall, should we say. Right, and, yeah. uh, you know, I believe, you know, we could have another two weeks at least out of this fishery. I mean, it's been going on for three weeks. And the ne next shot for people to get at is really the spring bite. And, and that happens here at the bridge and in the Raritan Reach Channel as well. Raritan Bay and, and this whole Ambrose Channel, this whole, uh, you know, body of water is, is, is renowned for weak fish and has been, you know, traditionally for years. And, it, and this could be the first time I'm ever going to say this in my life, though, but I'm actually going to make Andy take a, a rod out of the water because we are going to be heading back. <laughs> we got a, oh, we got a, deep, a decent trek all the yeah, way back yeah, to, yeah, to the absolutely. Western Sound from here. Right. Well, it wasn't a bad ride, you know. We had a beautiful day, great yep. day of fishing. I'll tell you what, I, I learned a lot today, Lou. I learned a lot. I learned that, you know, we can use these artificial baits. Oh, yeah. That, oh, look, there's no doubt that peanut bunker work, and it's a great bait. And I'm sure if we had worms down here, we would have caught them worms. The only problem is we're seeing guys catching porgies and sea bass all over the place here, and there's a lot of small fish. And we would have been tor tortured by those all day. We had one or two porgies, uh, one or two small sea bass. The rest of the time, we had nothing but weak fish. Well, yeah. it's funny. Uh, talk about artificials. You know, in, in the spring, 
you know, you got these fish coming in from a long winter. They like to eat a lot of natural baits. In the fall, when you have so much of the, uh, you know, the small peanut bunkers, you have all your natural forage, you know, artificials will work almost even better sometimes than the bait, and especially with the Berkeley, as we can see today, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, there's no lie that it outfished the bait. Well, well no, you know, it's I, a different I, I presentation, said, though, yes. as well. well no, but yeah. once we went to it, it was almost like I couldn't believe it. Well, we, we hit a drought there for like a half hour where we didn't catch a fish. Yeah. Right. And, and we were actually, marking. And you put on. You were the first we one to change. We had to just, change up and, and, and get something going. Yeah, Absolutely. and that was just like, you know, no lead head, nothing. That was just a weighted sinker Mike, with Mike. a three-way and a shrimp trailing. Look. And then boom. Yeah, and then yeah, I decided I'll try a bucktail. We caught a couple on that. I said to myself, we fish eat shrimp all the time. I know I eat them, so I'm going to put one down there and turn off the work. Well, listen, it was a great trip, and I, I know we want to do more stuff with you. I know you're not just an inshore guy, so, you yeah, know, know, we're going to make time to do other things with you as well. Maybe we'll get on another shot of the fall bite here, maybe some of the some of the big fin fish running around here, or the tuna, or whatever, but thanks, Lou. Anytime, appreciate appreciate fishing time. with I you. Really enjoyed Pleasure. fishing with you guys. Thank you I very much. You giving me the time. Thank you for watching. You can use the buttons below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch more videos, or to learn more about the location, techniques, and gear as seen in this video.